Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. I'm Anthony Daniels, and uh, I'd like to ask all of you to uh, pray for my mother, Katie Daniels. Uh, she's in the hospital. She had a, uh, a light stroke. Uh, so if you could please pray for her. She's been battling cancer for the uh, last year and a half, and uh, you know God has really blessed her during this ordeal. Uh, so if you could just uh, pray for my mother. Uh, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, the day will come out of John 16 and 32. John 16 and 32. And it reads, A time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. Again, a time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. Now this is uh, Jesus Christ. Again, he's in the upper room with the disciples at the Last Supper. And he's talking to the disciples. And he tells them, a time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will all be scattered, each of your own home. And what he was talking about was, once, God, once Jesus was arrested, the disciples scattered. I mean, Paul... Uh, Peter, I'm sorry, Peter um, denied Christ three times. He says, you will leave me all alone. And, they, and you know, except for John, you know, John was the only disciple that was at the crucifixion. The other disciples uh, fled. Uh, the other ten, because uh, one had uh, killed himself. Um, <clears throat> so, so the others, they all, they, all, they, all, they all scattered. Okay? And they left Jesus alone. And so Jesus went through his all, all, of, all the pain and suffering that he went through for our sins, he went through alone. He was by himself. Nobody came to try to rescue him. But, but see, what he says is, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. And although Jesus was a human being, although Jesus felt pain, although Jesus' skin was being torn off of his body, although, although he was weakened by so much blood loss, that he had to carry his own cross, that somebody had to help him, okay, just scarred with, with, with a crown of thorns on his head, being spit on, being ridiculed, uh, uh, be, being, being scorned in public, he says, I am not alone, for my Father is with me. And God's presence, his Father's presence, allowed him to get through that situation. Now, just imagine for a moment the pain that Jesus went through, okay, now, let's compare it to the things that we go through today that we cannot trust our Father with. Okay, now you say, okay, that was Jesus. Well, God is here just like he was here for Jesus. He loves us just like he loves Jesus. And when we go through things, if we call on our God, if we trust our God, he will bring us through. You know, my mother's been battling cancer for a year and a half. And you know, she has stayed, she has stayed in the realm of trusting God with her cancer. And her cancer has not gotten the best of her. You know, the, the doctors have been amazed at the fact that, uh, 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 that she hasn't lost weight, that she hasn't gotten too sick. You know, she's been taking chemotherapy and all that, but, but it's, they're just amazed that the cancer has not, you know, behaved the way it normally behaves in a person because she trusts God and she is not alone for her father is with her. Okay? And our father will be with us. And regard, it doesn't have to be cancer. It, doesn't, it can be anything, but the problem that we have today is that a lot of times we forget to call on God until we're going through something, okay? Let's celebrate the good times with God because he's with us in the good times and the bad. But see, when we're in the, when the good times are going on, you know, we, we, we like to credit ourselves. We like to look at what we've done and how we've been successful. But let's realize that God has gotten us the success that we have, that even in good times, we are not alone. Our Father is with us. He doesn't just show up in bad times. He's always with us. So let's walk our walk of faith. Let's walk our walk of Christianity, of always thanking God for being with us, knowing that we are never alone, knowing that God is always with us in good times and bad, that, we're, that when other people scatter, when we can't find our friends, we, can, we can't find our spouses, when we can't find our brothers and sisters, when we can't find our cousins, our, our mothers and fathers, that our Father, G Christ and Jesus, is still with us. 
They are with us through thick and thin. Okay? Through, through, through hell or high water, they're with us. That's all the time that I have today. God loves you. I love you. And he is with you. We are not alone. Have a great night.